believe this is probably a part of a Asian cartel. It's almost like the uh, Old West, you know, just a bunch of lawless disregard for the law, you know. We have about 6,172 square miles, so out of the 58 counties, we're the fifth largest. And the illegal cannabis growers are taking advantage of that because in many cases they're in remote areas. We estimate that we have about 2,000 uh, illegal cannabis cultivation operations in our county. This is a big one here. See they have greenhouse as well as outdoor growth. See the, the plants, they're growing over the, the fence. See that? Look at all those. It's hard to find a parcel out here that doesn't have cannabis, unfortunately. Well, there's a lot of organized crime here that's that's putting uh, literally millions of dollars, you know, into the infrastructure. There could be some human trafficking going on. We have some evidence of that. And they're not too happy to see us either. You might have noticed that. <laughs> that these people are obviously being exploited because they're being convinced to produce an illegal product and they're engaging in drug trafficking. Here's a Virginia plate, Michigan plate, Oregon plate. We have exhausted our resources and we need help from our state and federal counterparts. There is organized crime here. There is a uh, multi-million dollar effort to uh, establish these crime networks here. And the uh, California Army National Guard, within the next week or two, are going to provide additional assets to assist us with our uh, counter-drug operations uh, on private property. These properties are huge health and safety issues for the people in those neighborhoods and for the people who are living in those conditions as well. That is what we want to stop. Eventually, if this industry develops throughout the United States, then yes, maybe, but we are overrun as it is and we do not have the resources to become an early adopter of this industry, if you will. kind of a typical growing or living area that we encounter on these. But uh, this is what they're after right here. This is the money hanging on these lines. We encountered the female here. This is where we got her, took her in. She was actually working in here. We took her into custody right outside the tent here. I think some of them are either imprisoned to grow this marijuana for someone else or they're promised something that never comes through. We found uh, roads barricaded with logs and rocks to slow down any kind of entry. So yeah, they're taking steps to keep people out of here. I believe we were here two years ago and we pulled the plants out of here then. Yeah, but that's what you're seeing here is the old site. How does it make you feel that you're back and you see another garden over there? Well, it's not the first time and uh, I'm sure it won't be the last. It is what it is. You, know. you feel like you're fighting a winning battle here? Doing my part. That's all I can do, do my best.